Sundays are for relaxing, going to church, realizing you should have went to Chick-fil-A the day before. But for Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it's about destroying this week's epic cheat meal of choice. It's hard to argue the results he's seen with his weekly cheat meals. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be trying the weekly Sunday cheat meals for myself. All right guys, day number one, October 1st. Let's see how much I weigh right now. 191.7, which is more than I thought it was gonna be. So what I hope to get out of this challenge, well, I hope to not gain any body fat and I hope this excess calories that are coming in on Sundays can help me push harder in the gym and make more gains. Paging all cheaters. It is October 2nd, the first cheat meal Sunday of the month but there's something we need to do first. Starting off my cheat meal experiment with some, with some honest work in the gym, hitting chest and back with a sprinkling of buys for the guys before I refuel with the cheat meal so enticing, my gains have no choice but to be loyal. Listen, we gotta earn the feed, and I'll soon be getting a rock-sized glycogen delivery. Gather around, kids. Daddy's making pancakes. One of the cheat meals The Rock has been enjoying lately is Pineapple coconut pancakes topped with blueberry jam, peanut butter, and maple syrup. Hopefully this is better than the last one. Oh, I swear carbs are my soulmate. Like, if he does not look at you like how I look at these pancakes right now, move along. Okay? I'm gonna fuck myself. Oh, sorry. Ow. Pancakes, anyone? <laughs> You will notice over the 30 days, The Rock likes to slather things in nut butter. And Dwayne, if you're watching this, I don't have a nut allergy, I'm just saying. Oh, that has to be like 500 calories of almond butter right there. Last but not least, I'm gonna cover every inch of this like I'm reliving last night with some real maple syrup. This is even having me looking for an EpiPen right now. Like this thing is slathered in almond butter. There's like a moat of maple syrup around here. Oh my God, I'm just excited to, this is a, wow, what a treat. My knife is about to get lost. It's just taking it like a good girl here. How is it cheating if it feels right? You know what I mean? Like there's pineapple in here that even is cheating your girlfriend will, will condone. Isn't that right, sweet peach? It's literally like, a freaking like a wedding cake. The taste of this reminds me of this boy that I used to go to high school with. We all liked him, he was a good guy. He just dial it back a little bit. Like this could be dialed back a little bit. I feel like Dwayne just started to get a little bit too fancy and nobody stopped him. On a typical day, I'll usually eat four meals. So on the Sunday, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those meals out, replace it with the cheat meal. I'm not gonna drop the calories with the other meal because I really wanna see if the excess calories from the cheat meal help with my performance during the week. I look like I just got into the wrong dude's ass. <clears throat> I feel like I gotta go have a nap now. I, th I think I'm like carb high. It is the next morning, weighed in at 194.6 pounds, which means I'm up three pounds from day number one, which is to be expected. A lot of people will see that and you know decrease your calories like crazy, jack up the cardio, but just chill. Put those calories to good use with the weights. So I put my hardest workouts towards the beginning of the week after the cheat meal. And I don't know if it's just mentally, that I know I have an extra food in me that's making me push harder, but I've had a lot more energy. I'm a lot stronger. I'm sweating. And the pump is absolutely crazy. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <clears throat> it is the night before the cheat day, so I thought I'd show you guys what a typical standard dinner is for me. So I have a base of cauliflower rice. There is some chicken sausage. There is five whole eggs, which are these if you didn't know. Uh, we got bell peppers, garlic, and seasoned with soy sauce. It's simple and delicious. As tasty as this meal really is, I'm like a prom king with this queen the summer before college. The moment is nice, but all I'm focused on is the epic cheat train that's coming. While it is a respectable meal, there's high protein, good macros. All I'm thinking about right now is what's on my plate tomorrow. Cheat day! So I spent like literally all of last night deliberating what am I gonna have and I finally came to the conclusion that I'm gonna have the 20 ounce ribeye, one pound baked potato, and the chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. I have decided that I'm ordering Ruth's Chris. I've never had it before. 22 ounce cowboy ribeye steak for $100. I'm about to go wild west on this bitch. How would you like your steak cooked? Blue rare 
I want to have steak. I don't want to meet the cow. Medium rare. Anything more, give it to the dogs, is what I always say. <clears throat> Anything you want to know for this item? Cow and daddy? Now to the sides. One pound. They have lobster mac and cheese for $50. I would pay $50 just to trade places with that lobster that looks so good. Damn, Dwayne. Damn, we should have picked that. Baked potato it is for $20. Are you using Ryan Gosling's feces as fertilizer? Why is it $20? Anything you wanna know for this item? Would rather the lobster. Oh, so many pop-ups here. Cutlery required? I don't know why I'm thinking about that so much. No, okay, there we go. All I gotta do now is figure out the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. We're at the restaurant. It smells like beef. If you wanna feel like an A-list celebrity, just come to this place to pick up your takeout like it's your typical Domino's order. I'm also kinda of feeling at the same time like the last person to do this for takeout was probably on death row. Have a nice night. You as well. We got the food. One thing that I do admire about The Rock is that he brings his cheat meal back home because imagine him eating out. If I was a chef, I'd try to sear my phone number into this steak and I'm just, the smell in the car. Is that one pound? We got the one pound potato here. One pound potato, looks delicious. 22 ounce cowboy ribeye. That thing is huge. It's gonna about to eat a poodle. Look at this, it's already leaking a little bit before we even started. It's like a young me. We got our cookies, cheat meal number two. $100 piece of meat. I better be getting the full boyfriend experience. 1,690 calories for the steak alone. I think I know why it's called cowboy. Cause it's making me want to go cowgirl right now. Oh my God, that was good. It is absolutely baptized in butter. I've been watching too much Dahmer though. So this is a little bit unsettling though. Hey, look at this bloody piece of meat. I don't know how that would be like appealing to anyone. Oh, stop you, vegan. I'm not vegan. Why the f is it not focusing on this mother? Ew! I'm trying to eat. You know what? I think it's been a long day for you and you're not appreciating the ribeye. Ooh, I am facing some serious meat fatigue right now. To be quite honest, I did not have a cookie right now. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. and I'm not gonna force it. I don't think The Rock forced it. I think he just ate until he felt fine. If you guys were wondering, my total calories for the day were 3,767. The dinner without any of the cookies, 2,100 calories. That's pretty close to like my cutting calories in one meal. I usually cut on like 2,500. I maintain on 2,800 calories, so almost 1,000 calories surplus but uh, it was delicious. Want to know what my least fave part of the week is? It's going to bed after the cheat meal knowing I have another seven days until we can party again. But it's time to get to work and earn it. <laughs> We're going for a top set of five at 200 pounds for standing press. This will be a PR if I get it. Sundays. The first couple days of the week are magical, with the euphoric glycogen surplus fueling me. But by the time I reach hump day, also known as Wednesday, I realize I'm just living for the weekend. Just got back from an amazing meal with a bunch of my friends and I never feel bad about eating out, but I actually feel bad about eating out today. Since I had the cheat meal on Sunday, I feel like I have to be perfect all the way to the next Sunday, which is not fun. You know, I like to kind of sprinkle things in during the week as opposed to having one big day on its own. So this is definitely a con to the cheat meal Sundays. I do not know what I want for cheat meal number three and it's driving me clinically insane. I am not a food focused guy, but I'm so food focused this week, it's kind of worrisome. I'm literally on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's 14 cheat meals, just kind of like looking through and just kind of seeing what tickles my fancy, making like a March Madness bracket. I think the more restricted that I feel, the more I want the thing that I'm restricted of. Like I know that I can't have anything bad, so I just, I want something bad. The Rock recently posted on Instagram that he had in and out and he enjoyed it. So I'm from Canada, we don't have in and out but the States does and I'm here right now. So Cheat Meal 3 is gonna be in and out 
I know some people are very passionate about their in and out orders. I have to follow Dwayne or DJ. I think I can call him DJ at this point because I feel like we're just, I feel like we're very connected. So I have to get two double doubles and two things of fries, not animal style at all. This right here is the reason why I exercise vigorously. I am so excited. I have been so hungry all day. I can barely contain myself. Now, usually, in and out experiences in my life disappoint somebody. I'm just not used to that somebody being me. Last time I had in and out, I didn't love it, so I'm hoping for some redemption. Dwayne liked it, so I pretty much I, I have to like it. I'm very good today. And I'm in Texas. I had it in LA and I didn't like it. Let's try the fries now. Potato and oil it takes a very advanced skill to mess these ingredients up. Fries are pretty good. Can't complain. I'm happy with my decision, but I don't want this meal to be over because I have to wait another week. After three weekends of having the Rock Sunday cheat train, I've become pretty used to it as part of my diet. It may not have me looking like The Rock yet, but it does inspire a lasting firmness in me every Sunday. I really do feel like this weekly tradition has given me insight into Dwayne, or what we now call him, DJ. It's amazing the brotherhood that we formed after a few weekends of the same cheat meals together. Do you love me? Big time. Eyes bigger than my stomach, apparently. Morning after cheat meal number four and things got a little carried away last night. No, things got very carried away last night. I had seven rolls of sushi, it was amazing. I went to bed stuffed to the gills. But what I am noticing the morning after cheat meal number four versus cheat meal number one is that I am much less bloated this morning. I actually feel leaner now than I did on week one. I think my body just knows what to do with all this excess of calories. I think I'm averaging 5,000 to 5,200 calories every Sunday. Excited for the workout today, it's a big one of the week. Had a lot of soy sauce last night, which means a nasty pump, so I am very excited. I just wrapped up filming a testing my one rep max video and I PR'd on the squat, bench, and deadlift, which you guys will see very, very soon. So I'm feeling strong as hell. Like I set some crazy PRs for myself. During the week, I'm setting rep PRs, set PRs, just feeling it really, really good in the gym. Oh! It is the day before Halloween, October 30th. I'm here with Katie. I'm a wolf. And she I'm is, a deer. She's a deer. Wolves eat deer. You know that, right? Yeah, good job. Yeah. Bittersweet is the last cheat meal Sunday of the month. The Rock did something called the Sugar Train. We were not very happy with his selection, so we're going to Whole Foods right now. We're going to improvise and make our own. <laughs> ow, ow. It's nice to finally feel balanced with four legs. I am getting so many looks in this Whole Foods. It's like, it's like nobody's seen a jacked wolf. I like you. Thank you. Can we do one of those on the pecan, please? Yeah. Can Thank wolves you. eat tarts? Huh? Can wolves eat tarts? Oh, yes. Yeah? For okay. sure. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Just wanted to be sure. You want to bring in a third? Wolf, venison, draft? You are wolf yeah. and you, you are the deer. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of. I might eat her. I might eat her. You might. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to run some train, baby? Train? Yeah. Oh, Sugar train. Choo choo. Choo choo. I feel like we're gonna need to cleanse the house after this because this is gonna be like a triple homicide on our blood sugar here. No. No? I'm used to it. We have a lot going on, as you can see, a lot more than Dwayne. Dwayne, you suck. We have a bunch of donuts, we have a full pint of ice cream, carrot cake, tarts. You Watch those you. little paws. Meow. Gonna... Here, I got this for you. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail this cake from behind. The vegan carrot cake. Oh wow, that's good. I'm satisfied, but I'm not impressed. This will impress That's like vegan food in a nutshell. That's not true, vegan food's good. That's pretty, de that's pretty decent. I feel like i done. You didn't get anything? That's good. Cherry filling. I'm back. What the heck? Do you ever have that feeling that when you burp, you might throw up? That happened to me today, remember? Did it? Yeah, I think that's gonna happen to me after this. But all that came up was foam. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's moist. I already feel kind of sick. We had pizza before this. I do not like that one. Mmm. Oh. Don't get hair in. Mmm. Oh, God. I feel like after this, Tell you, me. Should, you should wear that and then I'll dress as a taxidermist. That's not nice. Why? You want me dead? No, I want to stuff you. <laughs> this tastes more like. 
shit before I eat it. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, November 2nd. I gave myself a few days after the sugar train, which absolutely wrecked me. I felt terrible after that to see what my true weight would be because I feel like if I weighed myself through day after that, it would obviously just be way higher. I have no idea what to expect. This is the first time I'm stepping on the scale since day number two. I was 191.7 at the start, so let's see what I am now. One hundred and ninety four pounds flat, which means I put on two point three pounds in total over the course of a little over five weeks. Not bad. The one thing that I did not enjoy was kind of the sustainability aspect of it. A lot of times during the week, I wanted to kind of go out and have dinner like I typically would do with my friends or family and I couldn't do that. I could do it, but I didn't want to because I feel like if I did that, it'd be kind of like messing up like my physique a lot by doing a cheat day as well. I felt kind of like restrained, which I hate that on a diet. You should never feel that way. So I am not gonna continue doing this going forward, but I want you guys to know that if you guys have a cheat meal and you're afraid to have a cheat meal, it's totally fine. You're all good because if I had five massive ones in the month and I gained 2.3 pounds and my gym performance was amazing, use those excess calories, go to the gym and just put it to work, man. You're only human, you only live once. I'm wrapping it up here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.